Good evening. Tonight I will narrate two Glitch in the Matrix stories for you. Now sit back and relax as I bring their experiences to life. Saved from Death by Overwhelming Gut Feeling This one isn't about me, but my dad, who is still confused as to why he did it, but grateful he did. My dad worked in the mines back in the 80s. He was driving on the main road that would pass his place of work one day, on his day off. As it was a weekend, the office was shut and he wasn't rostered on, so he had no reason to be there. He was traveling between four different cars, third from the back, all unintentionally following each other in a line. As he was driving, he starts to think, maybe I should go drop this paperwork into the office today. The turnoff for his work was probably only a few minutes away. He didn't have the paperwork in his car at that point in time. He was then like, no, that wouldn't be worth it because the office isn't open and I don't even have the paperwork. Thought is still niggling him in the back of his mind. He keeps driving until he sees the turnoff and he still doesn't know why he turned off, but he did. As in last minute yank of the wheel, no indicator impulsive turn. He travels down the road like 10 minutes and sure enough, office isn't open and the mine site is empty. Now he's like, why the fuck did I bother wasting my time? Turns around and heads back to the main road. Starts driving again and sees all the blue and red lights from ambulances and cop cars. Big accident had happened. A truck had come off the side of the road and had a head on collision with a bunch of cars. Dad drives past all three of the cars he was driving with which were all completely totaled. No one survived. Had he not trusted to turn off that day, he wouldn't have survived either. He just thinks it mustn't have been his time yet. I think we found a portal into hell. In early spring of last year, my fiance and I were driving in our RV and car back to my hometown to store it at my parents' place. Our dog was absolutely terrified of being in the RV. So anytime we needed to go anywhere in the RV, my fiancé would have to drive the car with her in it while I drove the RV. For some context, this is a big RV. It's a Model 39 Class A motorhome. So naturally, I think that it was a little terrifying to her. We were somewhere in the middle of Louisiana on our way to an RV park to stay the night. We liked to stay on the phone with each other while I was driving in case a car would try to pass me or I needed to switch lanes, he could easily just tell me when I was clear. So we were driving down this back road to avoid the interstate and all of a sudden my passenger seatbelt alarm started going off in the RV. Obviously nothing had changed and there was absolutely no one there. I told him and we didn't think much of it. We joked and I said, it's probably just a ghost. Eventually it went off. A few minutes pass and sure enough it turns back on and I started to feel different. The world around me started to feel surreal, like I was watching a movie of reality. It was at this time when my fiancé, over the phone, said that he was getting a really weird feeling. I told him that I was feeling strange too and explained the sensation I was having. Then all of a sudden, my entire RV dashboard starts malfunctioning. Lights are flashing on and off. Alarms are going on and off. The passenger seatbelt is beeping. I relay this to my fiancé and tell him I'm getting a little scared and I think I want to pull over when we get a chance. That's when we pass this little shack. This terrifyingly creepy little shack that has one light on. I started having these terrible visions of people being tortured, skinned alive, decapitated, and hanging by meat hooks. It was as if when I looked into the little shack, I could see what was happening in there. It was as if I was looking into a portal to hell. I was frozen in shock and fear. After we pass this little shack, the dashboard stops going haywire. The passenger seatbelt beeping stops, and I slowly stop feeling so strange. Although now, I'm feeling a different, sort of empty inside and emotionless. I finally get to a place where I can pull over. My fiancé comes to take a look around the RV. I relate to him what I witnessed when we passed the little shack. 
we don't really say much and decide to just focus on getting to our destination. Once we got there, we both are feeling so incredibly strange and we weren't sure what to make of what we just had witnessed and felt. Life didn't feel the same anymore. It felt like the world around us had been masked by a veil that would suddenly just disappear. Is it possible we found a portal into another world? Or hell? Is something like that even possible? To clear up some confusion, we realized we were still in Texas when this happened, not Louisiana. My Google timeline was turned on, so I was able to see that the school I parked at was Central Heights School District. So we drove past the shack somewhere between there and Mount Enterprise, which is where I stopped the RV briefly after all this happened. So this is strange. I went down the entire 15 minute road stretch on Google Maps, and I can't find the shack. I will give every description I have of it possible. It was a small white house with a front porch, and looked sort of decrepit. It had one of those bright bug catcher lights hanging on the front porch, and the porch light was a bright, almost blue light. Like a bright school light. It wasn't a warm, welcoming tone. There was a side road in front of this house, and on the other side of the side road was a pond. So if you were driving past in the direction we were going, it would go pond, side road, decrepit shack. I also remember the shack being down in a little hollow bit, not level with the main road we were on. When going down Google Maps, I found the location of where I thought the shack would be. I saw the pond and the side road, but there was absolutely no house on the other side. I'm really not sure what to make of this. Maybe it does not exist in this world, and I really did see into a portal to hell. If anyone finds something that fits that description, please let me know. So I'm not sure how much I buy into heaven and hell, but I have to say it does fascinate me. I watch a lot of Supernatural, which sure has gone down the cliff, let's say, uh, after season 5, but it's still interesting. It's that paranormal uh, spice, I guess you could say, that really excites me. Demons, angels, heaven, hell. Uh, not so much the torture, but you know, that's a different kind of spice. Now, the fact that the shack isn't there anymore on Google Maps, some kind of internal conflict that triggered this illusion, I don't know, maybe it really was a portal into hell. I'm certainly not going to go looking for the shack myself. <laughs>